Welcome to the Elevate You podcast series. Elevate your life, elevate your heart, elevate love on the planet, elevate your soul and the planet as a whole. My name is Paula Sadler. I am your host for Elevate You, uh, coming to you from my beauty salon, day spa and wellness center here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm so excited to be on this journey with you, and thank you for joining in today. Um, I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I have 30 plus years experience in the healing arts as an author, speaker, singer, and holistic healer. I am a certified Reiki practitioner of Asui Reiki, and also various holistic modalities. Uh, My practice includes remote viewing, astral projection, meditation, gemstone and chakra work, spiritual cleansing techniques, past and future life regression and progression, animal totem medicine. And over the years, I seem to have developed this uncanny ability to find the hidden meaning uh, behind everyday life, working with the realm of the angels and miracles, I hope that you enjoy this insightful and elevating series as you take a spiritual journey and learn how to interpret symbols, find the deeper meaning, and reveal your life purpose and to recognize miracles and to manifest them in your life now. And um, a little bit about what is Elevate You. So... um, Several years ago, in 2014, I was flying on a plane to go visit a friend. I was a mile high, and this inspiration came to me about starting a nonprofit foundation to help others and to help the community. And I was going through all these names in my black and white composition book, and one of the names that I came up with was Elevate You. L-O-V-8-U. And I ended up uh, signing into the Wi-Fi online on the plane and purchasing ElevateU.com and ElevateU Foundation as well. And uh, there was a gentleman sitting next to me. He was some kind of businessman or entrepreneur. And um, I know I wrote about it. He was actually very inspirational at the time. and, And he gave me a few words of wisdom. And it's interesting that no matter where we're at, sometimes... The best guidance and uh, wisdom can come from a complete stranger and love uh, for him. He he shared with me that day and it helped to inspire me to create this Elevate You. So what is Elevate You? I hope that you enjoy this amazing and spectacular journey of spiritual discovery and healing. Uh, I hope to take you on this journey to the edges of the inner and outer universe and beyond. In this informative and thought-provoking series filled with miracles, faith, hope, and applied spiritual principle, this is a series for everyone, for the beginner and the master, and everyone in between. All that's needed to start is an open mind. This is open to people of all faiths and beliefs, including our atheists and agnostic friends, you will experience everything from meditation to mind-blowing astral travel. This series is for the seeker who wants to reveal the mysteries of the soul and for those of you who are not sure where to start. So once again, my name is Paula Sadler. I'm grateful to be here today and I just thank you for joining me. And what is Elevate You? L-O-V-8-U is defined as love. Love right here. The eight in Elevate You is one of my personal numbers. It actually happens to be um, my birth number for numerology. It's also my social security is comes out to an eight, and you can do that. I'll tell you how to do the numerology on your birth date, your time of birth, and also your address, and even your social security number. But eight uh, symbolizes power, infinity, good luck, um, and it is a very powerful and fortunate number. Uh, I'm just happy and grateful that I happen to have three of them in my uh, personal reading. My name, my time of birth, which is 1052 a.m., which is an eight. Of course, I'm not going to tell you my social security number, but it is an eight. And also, um, that's my personal uh, personal day uh, for 12 19 1975. So um, I wish you 
the best in this journey with me. And I hope that you stick with me through the episode so that you can dig deeper and to discover more. Uh, This is going to be a very exciting journey together. So what is our mission? Why am I here today with you? And why is Elevate You here? Our mission at Elevate You is to encourage and facilitate healing of communities and people on all levels through applying the principle of unconditional love and action. We are dedicated to elevating consciousness through community cleanup, beautification projects, and teaching nonviolence through communications and peace. And what is our vision at Elevate You? Our vision is we see Elevate You as a revolutionary leader in the consciousness movement for the individual and global community to be a model of sharing good news, focusing on the positive for personal and world growth, to be service-minded to communities and people in need, to focus in on where the healing is needed, and being a powerful agent of change, to be an example of the principle of unconditional love through kindness and spiritual practice, where miracles can be seen and appreciated by all as a natural outpouring of love in action and recognized as part of the nature and proven by natural law and the science of the impossible becoming possible. So we look forward to bringing you interesting and engaging stories and interviews that we hope will inspire you to take action in your life and on the planet to literally elevate you to the next level and to have fun while doing it. Um, So at this time, I'm going to invite you in on this very special foundational meditation that will set the tone for all of our series to come. This is for Elevate You. This is for me. This is for you. And this is for the planet as well. So um, throughout our series, we have many wonderful topics that we're going to be exploring. And I'm so happy to bring those to you from my Salon and Spawn Wellness Center right here in Las Vegas. We're actually in our galaxy room right now. This is a room where we do holistic healing, Reiki, we do massage therapy, we have specialty soaks and scrubs and body treatments and special uh, spiritual and holistic services um, that if you really enjoy what you're hearing today and you love this, what you're seeing, um, Actually, I think we're coming to you someplace far away in the galaxy right now. Uh, And that's okay, too. So you can float and glide with us and take this amazing journey. So for those of you who may not be familiar with a spiritual practice, um, there's a few things that you can do to get yourself grounded, to clear your space, and to make way for this kind of new energy that's coming in. Um, Before our show today, I already started... Um, one of our candles uh, that we have going. It's one of our candles from Coventry Creations. They're made all by women in Detroit. They make them when the moon is right. And uh, it's a wonderful uh, company uh, that fills these uh, candles and uh, with love and so much intention. There's beautiful energy that is there. And each of them have an affirmation also to help you with any particular area of challenge or need in your life. Uh, they're there. And also uh, today we're going to be featuring uh, frankincense and myrrh by Oracacia. We have a full line of these oils and I've chosen frankincense and myrrh uh, because these are wonderful and elevating oils that are great for meditation, for calm and peace and for higher awareness. And we've already placed them into our diffuser. One thing you can do with these is simply to you just put a little drop. You can put it on your wrist um, like that and uh, rub it together. You can also uh, place these in a diffuser. You can put them in lotion and oil. Put them in your baths. Um, and these just smell so good. So, you know, if you really want, you can, you know, rub them on your temples and uh, put them in your hands. and. Just take all of that in and frankincense is wonderful. They also say it's restoring and myrrh is also a restoring oil. So these are both uh, very restorative. Uh, So we have those and that just kind of sets, sets us up to be able to kind of take in, you know, what's next. Um, So we have that and 
Before we begin on our meditation today, uh, I wanted to share with you a little bit of what we do here. And we're going to be having some episodes which feature directly on each of these to really explain more and to do more demonstrations. Here we have our rainbow chakra centers card, and this goes through all the different chakras. Uh, chakra is a Sanskrit word meaning a spinning wheel. And it's really about the internal. It's what's inside our energy body. Um, and you may have not heard that term before, may not know what it is, but in very simple terms, what is it that makes you you? What is that animating force that's inside you? And what is that uh, energy that you have? That's, that's all they are. And then uh, we have our aromatherapy card here. We have a crystal and gemstone card. I have uh, pulled out our uh, universal uh, cards uh, that I do readings with. And also, I cannot be without my Animal Speak by Ted Andrews, amazing uh, Native American animal uh, totem medicine and magic, and also how to understand and interpret environments. Um, so we have all that today. Before we begin, uh, let's do this. So um, we have some essential oils we use. We have a tiny piece of sage here. We do have these available. And we just want to cleanse um, ourselves. So one of the things you can do now, I usually do this standing up, but I'll go ahead and do this sitting down uh, for our podcast today. So you could stand up. Now we don't want to do too much smoke and uh, choke ourselves, but you just kind of do this while you are saging yourself. I like to use the words, I sincerely and humbly pray for spiritual cleansing and spiritual purification to rid myself of the ability to cast the evil eye upon myself and others for to receive blessings of peace, love, happiness, laughter, light, and healing, and to send these same blessings out to each and every being on the planet. So that is one of the ways, and you can just, um, as you're doing the saging, imagine this, you're just cleansing, you're just cleansing away. Who wouldn't want to cleanse away negativity, anger, all of this energy that's left over, also energy that others have imprinted upon you and been in your space, so that is what happens when you do this very sacred Native American sage ceremony, you know, technique. You're cleansing away all the old energy and you're inviting in the new. So now that we have done that, we're just kind of going to center ourselves and be in this space. Um, let's go ahead and move forward with our meditation. Okay, so here we go now. Um, so I just want you to relax um, wherever you're at, and um, you can feel free to close your eyes or keep them open. Just be as comfortable as you like. There is no wrong or right way to meditate. Um, you can do this with eyes wide open, while listening, while driving, as long as you're paying attention, uh, walking. Um, you can be in a quiet place with your eyes closed or in the middle of a concert. So it doesn't really matter. It's not the space that meditates. It's the center inside of what we what we do. So we're going to start with a few um, deep breaths. And why is the breath important? The breath is important because it's literally what keeps us alive. It is the sustenance. We must have this breath. And this is when we when we talk about just breathing in and recognizing that it's really connecting with what gives us life in terms of, you know, we, we're breathing in and we're staying centered in the moment. And also it's helping to invigorate and enliven our bodies. You know, we must have good oxygen, right? Okay, so um, just close your eyes and relax. And we're going to take, um, we're going to do three deep breaths. And on this first long, slow, deep breath in, you're going to breathe in and hold it. So take a deep breath in and hold that breath. Holding it, and now we're going to release, and as you release, you imagine all your tension and stress leaving your body. And on our next long, slow, deep breath in, breathing in peace and vitality and energy and holding that breath. And as you exhale out, imagining all tension and stress gently leaving your body. And on our last long, slow, deep breath in, breathing in through the nose and holding that, breathing in joy, serenity, energy. 
Feeling that from the top of your head to the tip of your toes. And as you exhale out, feeling relaxed, at ease, centered, and very calm. And that is the way to bring yourself into focus, to be in the present moment. And as we begin, imagine now that you are inside your heart, into its deepest part, your heart of hearts, the deepest inner chamber. You feel calm, peaceful, and at ease. It's the most beautiful place you have ever been to, filled with everything and everyone that makes you happy. You see a beautiful pillar carved in oak with a beautiful scroll on the most elegant parchment paper lined in gold. It is illuminated and seems alive with vibrant energy. You see your name at the top of the page. Below that it reads, Sacred Contract of the Divine Heart. Now, take the next moments to read. You reach out to touch the scroll, and instantly you know what it says. You feel overwhelmed with gratitude and love. You remember this contract. You know your purpose. You feel connected with every being's heart on the planet. You are immersed in the energy of unconditional love. From the top of your head to the bottom of the soles of your feet to the tip of your toes. As you look around, you notice there is something different. You have been changed. You are now seeing with the eyes of love. You are awakened, elevated, and invigorated. You leave behind all anger, fear, desperation, unkindness, and terror. Somehow, it has been taken from you and transformed into love. And you know how to share this love with others now as never before. You feel a sense of gratitude, deep gratitude. You allow yourself now to come back to this place and time. You feel the room, the space around you. You can feel your heart more alive and more elevated than it ever was before. And you can return to this place anytime you need to be bathed in love, anytime you need to be elevated. We'll just take a moment now to take all of that in and to take that feeling of unconditional love for yourself and others and imagine that healing the entire planet. And breathe in and exhale out. So thank you for joining me on that very foundational meditation and bringing in this energy of love for helping all of us to connect to what's really important. And that is our heart and love and our very purpose for being here uh, on the planet. Um, I'm going to introduce you now to our universal cards. And this is something I do also for uh, clients as a service. I do intuitive readings. And let's have some fun. And let's um, do something special for Elevate You. Whatever will be, will be. And so um, one way to work with the cards is um, if others have touched them and used them, you simply uh, can tap on them. You can put sage over them. You can put them on a candle, to, and it's a cleansing of the energy. You don't want other people's energy on the cards. So we're just going to clear those, right? And uh, so we're just going to shuffle them. So as I'm shuffling the cards, viewers and listeners, I'd like you to close your eyes. And I want you to imagine that you're here in this space with me. And you're feeling very relaxed, very peaceful. You're at ease, very comfortable and completely safe. So we're going to go ahead and shuffle these cards. As I'm shuffling, I want you to imagine now and ask yourself the question. See it in your mind's eye. 
you, whatever you believe in, if you believe in, uh, you call it God, Jesus, Buddha, whatever that may be, the higher power, the universe, Mother Nature, I want you to ask that presence and that power for guidance and ask the simple question, in your mind's eye, what do we need to know right now as a planet to grow? What is it that we need? And I want you to know that you have the power and ability to do this, that you are an intuitive and spiritual force and being, and that you don't need any special training. You don't need years of experience. I happen to have over 30 years of experience in the holistic arts. You can start right now with your own little deck of cards and with your own positive intention of receiving guidance. So we shuffle the cards, okay? Now let's think about that question. And this is a foundational card for the entire series of Elevate You, but we're also going to apply this to the planet at this time. And so you set your cards down. We're going to go ahead and let's imagine that we're all cutting the deck at the same time, okay? And now, with my hand as your hand and the hand of the world and our creative intelligence of the universe, Receiving the guidance that we need right now at this time. And what comes to us is vulnerability. So the card of vulnerability speaks to us being open and receptive and letting those parts of us that have been hurt uh, to come to the surface for healing. Truly, this speaks to all of our hearts When we have an open and vulnerable heart, we have the ability then to move into the healing that's needed. And it allows others also to view us um, without all of the hard exterior, without all of the shields, without all of that outer wall of protection. Being vulnerable, this is Elevate You. Elevate You, we are opening this space so you can see in. And see all of this beautiful energy, this work of the human spirit and the soul and of the collective spirit of our entire planet and consciousness. We must become vulnerable and open in order to do this important work of healing. And there's a lot of healing that needs to happen. So that is for us. And let's just see what um, our universal cards uh, says to us on vulnerability. Um, and we just go, it's all uh, alphabetical, and let's see what, what it says today. Vulnerability is to be open, this is interesting, is to be open to attack or criticism. It means not being protected and also wounding or likely to injure. So in our work and going towards of opening of our heart to become vulnerable, it's also very important that we only open that to those who respect us, love us, appreciate us, and that are not going to turn that against us. So it is important to know who to open that to. But um, the angels say that this is a card of strength, not weakness, and that by drawing this, we are being called to fine-tune our emotional sensitivity and to enrich our feelings. Um, most importantly, we must not allow ourselves to be placed in uncomfortable situations. We have to be aware of our surroundings. So that is our foundational card. And I give that to you as a gift from Elevate You so that you can become vulnerable with me as I'm becoming vulnerable and open with you, really opening this very sacred space. This is a space of receptivity, of vulnerability, and, uh, you are safe here. So I hope that you've enjoyed the introduction to Elevate You. I am so excited to be on this journey with you um, and coming to you from my wellness center and spa in Las Vegas, aharmonynailspa.com. And um, I look forward to bringing you so many wonderful um, and interesting stories. And we'll see you at the spa.